Okay, we've got the shape selected. We're Cody, Laura, and Raleigh, and we travel the country in our self-converted school bus. We're Schooly, Tots the Bus. Subscribe and follow along with our adventures. Welcome back. Last week, we spent a bunch of time in and around Joshua Tree with a bunch of friends. And this week, we're gonna continue the caravan with Alex and meet up with another group of bus friends. But first, it was time for some bus repair. So today's the day we're getting the bus worked on. Uh, we just pulled into AAA bus. I'll tell you a little bit more about them. But uh, they worked on the bus last year. We're here again. We're actually going to work from inside the bus while they're working on it, which is super fantastic, especially for us. This is our home. It's our home office. And uh, that's really nice. So uh, we're getting two airbags replaced on the back. <laughs> May need to get out of the bus for that part. But um, checking a leak, getting an oil change, greasing the chassis, stuff like that. So anyway, back to work. If you are looking for somebody to work on your schoolie after you've built in your drive around, you're having mechanical issues, whatever it is, uh, they are located in Phoenix. Uh, Tony runs a place. He is fantastic. They're reasonably priced, and he's a school bus mechanic specifically by trade. So uh, check them out. AAA bus sales.com. That's AAA bus sales.com. Tell them we sent you. After we left AAA bus, uh, we headed to one of our favorite spots from last year outside of Apache Junction near the Superstition Mountains. This is a spot we spent about a week with Chase and Maria Jose of Tio Aventura, and we did our most difficult hike of all time. You can watch that video by clicking the card up here. This year, it was Alex and us. We spent just a couple days here, but Alex surprised us with a few really nice ribeyes. If you haven't caught on yet, he is quite the chef. Alex is making us steaks, and I'm really excited. Finally, it was off to the other side of Superstition Mountains to meet up with Caitlin, Stefan, Devin and Bree, Shane and Emily, Stefan Taylor, and Kelson J. And with resident barber Stefan around, I was considering chopping off my hair after a year and a half of growing it out since basically the beginning of lockdown. We don't always talk about how much of bus life we love the community aspect. So this weekend we are camping with four buses, uh, soon to be five buses, and we're gonna watch a Super Bowl together and just enjoy community. And the first random fun thing that we're gonna do is haircuts. I'm gonna get my first haircut in, I'm not even gonna tell you how long because it's super embarrassing. I think Stefan's gonna get a fresh cut and Cody we might even be able to get in the barber chair too. Stay tuned. Okay, well Stefan's getting started on Laura's hair. We'll show you the finished product. Look at this! Fresh ends! Feels so good! Thumbs up for Stefan. Payment in the desert. Stretch it out. Mango carts. Oh man. Thank you, Stefan. Yeah. Cheers. Wait till after you cut my hair before you start <laughs> yes. slugging. Now that Cody has seen my haircut, he's considering his own. This is so much curlier. Alex is the inspo. I'm just trying to figure out what it'll look like when it's down. Hey guys, welcome back to Tales to, to Smitty's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's a verdict? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Nice. Stefan's client base is growing exponentially here the in the sides desert. Sides and leaving the top, kind of like Alex. Maybe exactly like Alex. Also, Stefan's like this is more than I bargained for. <laughs> no, I love cutting hair. <laughs> yeah. No, that's All right, I'm doing this. I'm a little nervous, but I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no Can nerves. I trust you? No nerves. <laughs> okay, we've got the shape Put selected. Oh boy. No going There's back. No going back now. All 
right, Cody? <laughs> it's long. Wait, what? It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Let's get the full 360. Hey. No, I like it. It's going to take some getting used to, but it, it looks as good as I was hoping it would look. Give a little He's left cool. look, right look. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Laura says she likes it. That's what counts. <laughs> it's true. If I like it, that's all that matters. And I like it. Another happy customer at Beauty of Barbershop. It was also time to get some final touches on Tots the Bus, so check it out and let us know what you think in the comments below. So Tots is getting a little bit of an upgrade as well. It's pretty close, no? I think it's close enough. We've done the side decals, a little crooked. Did the back decals, a little crooked. But this front one, we've got four sets of eyes on it, and now we're implementing a ruler. I think this is gonna be good. Have you met Stefan yet? I don't think I've been on your channel yet. I yeah. don't think so. Walk this through. is Stefan. Hello. BB of us, we did a walkthrough. <laughs> Check it out. That's right. That link up in the corner. He that has corner. a beautiful bus yeah. and he is going to be my barber. That's um, right. We got a little barber shoppery going oh, on. You said partner, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Well, this just got extra weird." Whoa. And I don't know that we've officially introduced Alex. He's just been the one cooking for us, making us coffees. This is and our dear friend. And, and peas, steaks, charcuterie, yeah. yeah, charcuterie, wine. Alex is the man. He yeah. keeps Everything us living French. a bougie French lifestyle. Cheese. Oh wait, it's crooked. <laughs> it probably is. Did you miss one letter? <laughs> That's so funny. Camping with these guys has been super fun. They have already been very helpful to us. And now we're gonna drop the hood for the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Looks good to me. What do you guys think? Comment below. This was Super Bowl weekend and Alex set up a projector for us to watch the game. Devin is a huge Rams fan, so he was especially excited because they won. The Rams haven't won since 1999, and I'm just like so thankful for you guys pretending to care about this. Let's go Rams! Let's Devin go Rams! Rams! And we finished off the night with a dance party. The last example of community from this week came the next day when Stefan was heading to his next spot. He got just a few miles down the road and blew his water pump. Everyone sprang into action as he pulled back into camp. Led by Alex, Jamie, and Devin, the entire group lent a hand. What was thought to be a quick swap turned into an hours long, into the night ordeal as they ran into hiccup after hiccup. By the way, I'll put a card in the top corner to this video if you want to see more. Through it all, our community shined brightly. We've been part of different communities over time, but we've never seen a group so selfless, so giving, so concerned for others, and so willing to drop everything and lend a hand. It's truly special. We'll see you next week.